Hey, ho, ho, ha, ha. All right, everybody. Now, back out here with the old fat e-bike again. And I put a video up yesterday about the battery, uh, buying a battery for this bike, particular bike, and the mountain holes were down the bottom. And I was going to turn around the other way. And a lot of people said, don't do that. Put it around the right way. Anyway, so that's what I've done. I've put it around the right way. So this is how I... Uh, secured the battery round the right way um, by drilling a few holes and putting some rivnuts in. Um, so not every bike is the same. I must uh, stipulate that some bikes do have uh, the mountain holes up here. On my particular bike, they were down here. Um, so that's not ideal. And sometimes batteries have the mountain holes at the top and the bottom. So it's a minefield. It's a minefield. It could be <laughs> when you get the battery, you're not quite sure what you're going to get. Sometimes, uh, sometimes the pictures don't uh, say what you get. Going to get. You you like a certain bike. The thing's in the wrong place. You know what I mean, anyway. So this is how I secured the battery, and it shouldn't come off at all. It should be on there pretty strongly. So I'm going to bring the camera in. And show you exactly what I've done and uh, maybe you like what I've done maybe you won't like what I've done <laughs> because everybody seems to disagree and, and agree they all got their own ways of doing things there's more than one way to do this um, probably uh, I just like to say before anybody does make any suggestions this bottom bar here is not cylindrical it's more of a square shape if that, if that makes any sense it's so it's not round um, so it, it makes it difficult for some putting certain brackets on or other brackets might suit it. Anyway, I'm waffling. Let me bring the camera in and have a look exactly what I did and how I overcome the problem by and making the battery go the right way. Right, this piece here comes off the in there, the bottom of the battery. Okay, and this is where the that sits in there, right? Okay. The wire goes in there like that, okay? Right, so on this particular bike, the two rivnets for putting a water bottle on were down here. So I took the three screws out of here, I took this off, measured it all, made sure that they got enough room to, for the battery to slide in, because it comes at an angle. And I measured the centers, and I measured this that way as well, and I drilled two holes in this uh, metal bracket here, okay? So then I put two two bolts in then, two two bolts, yeah. And then you can slide that back over like that. Okay. And then I can put the screws in and that secures the bottom bit. But that isn't enough to hold this battery on because it'd be a little bit floppy at the top there. So when that was in there then, I marked uh, two holes where I was going to put rivnets in. And then I took this back off and I drilled two holes uh, for M5 rivnets. So I'll put some footage, footage in now of me drilling these holes and then I'm putting these in and you can see that I put these two rivnets in so I can mount another two bolts up here. Right, so then what I can do then is I can put this on there like that, okay? I can get, uh, I can secure it there with this, this one, and then I can put, ah, before I do that though, before I put them in there, <laughs> it does come with these little rubber doodars, so you've got to put them, one on there, and one on there. And you've got to try and hold them in and put it on then. Like that. <laughs> Let me just check this on again. No, see it comes off easy, quite easy. You've got to be careful. Right, there on there like that. That is on there like that. There. So then, 
I can pop these screws in here like that and the other one in like that and then do them up and you get the gist so if I put a screw in there like that and let's just do that one up tight there put a screw in there I gotta put another one in there and then I can put a bolt in there look that one in there like that okay and I can put another one in there okay so I'll do them up now and I'll, and I'll get back to you right okay and there we are the bolts are on the battery's run the right way which is um the preferred way to do it anyway but um <laughs> but so i've got four bolts in all together so that should uh, secure the battery perfectly uh like i said there is other ways to do it i mean um i had a couple of suggestions in the other video of some methods that you can use it's like um the i can't remember what they're called i'll put the name of them by here they're like jubilee clips with things on them um they look like a good idea but um this is the way I've done it. So, if you don't like the way I've done it, <laughs> say in the comment section if you think it's the wrong way to do it. But um, that's the way I did it. So, um, uh, now I've done this battery, if you wanna watch my next video on this bike, which should be me trying out uh, this fat bike build to see what it's like, see if it's any good. And that should, should be the next video because the battery's on, everything's connected, so we should be able to go for a ride now so if you stick around for the next video coming up it should be this one anyway if you like this quick video give it a like subscribe click the notification bell and i'll see you in the next one Ho -hoy!